In this tutorial video, I will show you how to download and install LAMPS and run a first molecular dynamic simulation code for absolute beginners. To support my channel, you know what to do. LAMPS is a free molecular dynamic simulation code developed by Sandia National Laboratory and in this video, I will install LAMPS on Windows. To download the installation file, you can type LAMPS download windows. You can find LAMPS windows installer repository and click and go down to find latest stable versions. When you click that, you can find LAMPS 64-bit stable.exe. You can hit save. So you can click downloaded installation file to install. Then you can hit more info and run anyway. Then hit I agree and install and wait until it's finished installation. Once successfully installed, you can go to start menu and scroll it down to find LAMP 64 bit 29 September 2021 icon. You can see subfolders including examples, benchmark, and LAMPS manual, and etc. To run the first MD simulation, you need to provide an input file. The input file defines the simulation type, time step, materials, potential parameters, boundary condition, and simulation time, and etc. In fact, there are several example MD codes that LAMPS offers. You can also see the showcases under movies in LAMPS website. In this video, I will run the simple 2D QWERTY flow. To find the example file, you can go to Start menu, find the LAMPS folder, you can expand the menu, and hit Examples folder. Then you can find the example folder, then you can find the folder name flow. When you bore into this, you can find the file name called in.flow.coite.lmp. To run this LAMPS input file, I encourage you to create a new folder under root folder in C drive. So I copy this file first by hitting Ctrl and C, then go to C drive, and then create LAMPS. And then I can also create another folder name, Flow. Then I can paste LAMPS example file. To run the LAMPS info file, you need to open the command prompt. You can click the magnifier icon in the left bottom corner and type CMD. Or you can use a short key, window R, then you can type CMD and hit run. It begins with the default folder location and mine may be different from yours. Now we need to access the folder where you save the LAMPS info file. To figure out the folder name that you need to relocate, you can go to the file explorer again. You can click the rectangle box on top. Then it will show the full path of the folder location. In my case, it should be C colon backslash lamps backslash flow. And this means that the flow folder is located under C drive and lamps. To move your current working directory in the flow, you can use cd base c colon backslash lamps backslash flow. Hit enter. cd stands for the change directory and it requires the final folder or directory destination. Now you need to make sure that you have the flow input file in the current working directory. To list all the files in the current working directory, you can type dir which stands for directory. And then you can find the in.flow.coite.lmp. 
So you're ready to run the first MD simulation. To run the info file, then you can type lmp followed by minus in followed by the info file. So you can manually type it in the full info file name, but you can partially finish it and hit tab key to automatically finish up. So you hit enter to run it. Now you can see the list of numbers in the screen telling what the simulation is about, including the numbers of particle, temperature, energy, simulation time, and etc. Now when you type dir one more time, you can see the new file has been created, log.lamps. So this includes all the information that has been shown in the screen. So you can go back to File Explorer and open with the text editor, for example, Notepad, and hit OK. So you can see the same information has been saved as a file. So we'll talk about this one later. Now we are interested in visualizing the molecular movement to understand what's going on. To visualize, you need to create another file called dump in order to include XYZ coordinate at given time step. So in order to create it, you can go back to your info file and open with any text editor. For example, I use Notepad++. This is also very useful free software. When I open it, you can see collection of the lamps command, but you need to activate the very last command, which is dump. Now I can just uh, uncomment at the line 68 and hit save, then go back and run it again. Now you can see new file has been created, dump.flow. So dump.flow include XYZ coordinate at given time step. So in order to visualize this, we'll use BMD software. This is a free software developed by University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign. To download the installation file, you can also search BMD download in Google. So you can click the very first link to it direct your download page. You can click the very last one. It will ask username and password. You can choose your username and password. Then you can hit I agree to hit the version that you wanted to download and save it. So once you're done, you can click the installation file and continue to install with default setting. Once you finish your installation, you can find the folder name University of Illinois, expand it, and you can see BMD. When you click, you can see the BMD main program window. Then you can click file and hit new molecule, browse, then you can find the folder that we created, lamps, flow, and dump flow, and hit open. You can also change the file type as a lamps. You can scroll it down. You can find the lamps trajectory and hit load. When you take a look at this, you can see some ugly lines here and there. So I think you need to, you can change the setting for the visualization. To change it, you can go to the BMD main window and hit graphics, go to representations, and currently drawing method is the lines, but you can change it boundary bars. So you can see some 3D rendered balls for atoms and molecules. So you can change your sphere diameter, increase it or decrease it, or you can also change your sphere resolution and decrease it. Or you can also change the different types of representation, for example, points. So currently, particle size is 1 as a default setting, but you can increase the size up to 30 for now. So when you close it and play it again, and you can see the animation that you want it to see. So if you want to decrease your speed, you can change the speed. And if you want to skip the steps, you can also change it. Hope this tutorial video is useful for you. If you like, please give thumbs up 
and please ask any questions, comments in the comment section down below. I will see you in the next video.